here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers news. Now, I want to give a shout out to Game Onion on Twitter. He linked me to this article, so a link to this will be in the description below. The Game Onion linked me to a very interesting topic on NeoGAF, which talks about Takamaru. Now, I don't know if you guys remember my initial reaction to Takamaru being an assist trophy in Smash Wii U, but when I first saw this character, I thought it was a girl, or, or excuse me, a grill. Turns out that this was actually going to be a speculated character for Japanese, I mean, um, for, for Smash Brothers, but he got cut from making the roster for certain reasons. Now, um, I'm going to go into a little bit more of why I feel like he probably should have been in the game, even though I don't know who this character is or where he's from. Apparently, he's from like a Japanese only game, so he hasn't even been released in a game in America called like Nazo no Murasame Sho, I think that's what it's called. He's from that game, it was only in Japan, but he had enough popularity in Japan to where Sakurai did consider him for the roster here in, in well, I mean, not just American Smash Brothers, Wii U, and 3DS, but for everywhere. Let's read into the NeoGaf article and see exactly what they have to say about it, though. So, as reported on Go Nintendo, so let's take a look at the Go Nintendo article. Oh, okay, and by the way, the interview was real because there was a full video talking about the whole thing. But um, for now, I'll leave the video alone. I'll just um, have everything in the description below so you can check that out. But we're going to finish reading this initial post. Takamaru was originally going to be in playable in the, Smash, in the roster of Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. The reason why he didn't make the cut? Lack of familiarity with the fan base. And this goes down to him basically not being in the United States at all in any game. So we would have all been wondering, like myself, who the fuck is this guy? Although I know he does have a fan base. So I was surp I'm surprised. So many of you guys when I first talked about him being an assist trophy in the pick of the day so many of you guys knew who he was so I'm like yo okay this guy definitely has a fan base anyways to clarify there were never model work or anything done he was just in the brainstorming of the game in the linked video which we just saw Sakurai also discusses being very aware of the various insane character suggestions on the Miiverse and I'm telling you that's got to be some of the best acknowledgement that a fan base can have the creator of their favorite game acknowledging all their requests. And Sakurai knows. Then again, I mean, I can't believe some people didn't think that he read through all those suggestions on the Miiverse. I mean, he does listen to the people, as crazy as you may think that is. I think he is very aware of what we want. He even addressed the Ridley situation, which is insane. Um, what say you, Gaff? Should he have been made playable, or is this, a tr this trophy and status enough? I know I would have loved to see him. Well, we have to go back to why Sakurai said he wasn't in the game, and it's lack of familiarity with the fan base. Now, I want to make an argument saying that he should have been in the game, but now I just thought of a counter argument to that. So the logic I use here is Fire Emblem, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Marth and Roy. Marth and Roy were going to be Smash Bros. Melee um, Japanese exclusives because it was a game that had only been released in Japan up until that point. No one knew what Fire Emblem was and it was going to be a Japanese only franchise. Well, I don't know if it was a Japanese only franchise or at least the games that Marth and Roy were in were only Japanese, but either way, Fire Emblem for um, Smash, well, no, uh, but I, the Fire Emblem characters in Smash Bros. Melee were Japanese only, but they translated so well that they just kept them in the American version. That's why Roy and Marth speak Japanese. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but this added such a cool aspect to Smash Brothers because now we had characters who were in Japanese only franchises making their way to America through Smash Brothers. To me, it provided a bridge of cultures, whereas we learned about Fire Emblem and how amazing of a series it was, and now we have great titles such as Fire Emblem Awakening, Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem coming up, and then this new Fire Emblem game coming up as well too. It's amazing. And it, would have only, it wouldn't have happened if they had kept that whole region lock thing and kept Martha and Roy in the Japanese version. So I wish, I really, and plus the, another major thing about that is the fact that Roy and Marth were not even in a game yet when Smash Brothers Melee came out. Or were they? I don't remember exactly. I think they were. I think they were in the games, but you know, the game that they were going to be in, they had new games coming out for them, you know? So I feel like it probably would have been a good breaching of cultures or like a good bridging of cultures to have a Japanese only franchise character be in Smash Brothers this time too. It would have been awesome to see that, but we didn't get that sadly. And um, because Takamaru was only in Japan and he was cut from the roster, but here's why I think Sakurai says lack of familiarity because there were no plans to make another game with Takamaru and have it be released in America. Now, if Takamaru had a game that was being developed for the United States, maybe something coming up, then that would have probably been a little bit more reason to put him in Smash Brothers. In fact, if he had a game coming up in the US, you know for sure he would have been in Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS, but he didn't. And that's why they say there's a lack of familiarity. Think about it like this. If the Ice Climbers were cut 
and Sakurai said that they were also cut not just because of their technical limitations, but because of their just not being relevant anymore, then there's no way Takamaru was getting in. But that's just my opinion. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you have liked to see this character in? I would have. He looks like a cool dude, but he has no relevancy. He has no games coming out anytime soon, I guess. And that pretty much ended right there. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.